Libra Moon. Libra Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Balmoral Beach in Sydney, Australia. Isn't this so gorgeous? I absolutely love this place. I used to come here in my 20s a lot with my friends. Just now the sun has sunk behind the, the horizon there. So the sun rises on that side. I think it's dipped all the way down there. Um, I've had to put on my warm gear because it you know, I was in a t-shirt earlier. You might have seen a different video where I'm in a t-shirt. Well, now I'm rugged up. So today we're going to be having a look at two things in particular. So we're going to have a look at future opportunity. We're going to have a look at the past, right? So what's happening with the future opportunity? So we've got Mars Rahu conjunct. Well, they're, kind of, they're sharing the house of Gemini. They're conjunct for a while, but they're mostly sharing the house of Gemini from 7th May, 2019 to 22nd June 2019 and that's happening in your ninth house so let's take a look at this you might feel a surge of energy towards your goals uh, but equally you might feel like Saturn the brakes right so we've got Mars the accelerator and Saturn the brakes so Saturn the brakes might be holding you back a bit so try to pursue your goals but don't force it really important don't force anything this is Mars Rahu conjunction don't force Try to avoid arguments, that's what I always say. Um, you might find some headway. You might find that you're able to get ahead a little bit, but try, but don't force it. Uh, another thing you might want to be looking at is how can you reinvent your image at work? Okay, how can you re-strategize? This is really a time, when, it, when the energies are like this, it's a time to get strategic, and it's a time to visualize, it's a time to plot your course, it's a time to you know find new dreams to believe in as well. You know, maybe you've got to clear out some old dreams. Maybe you've got to find some new exciting thing to put on your horizon there. So future, right? That is something to be looking at. Now the past. Let's take a look at the past here. So the past, we've got Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. That's happening in your second house. So you could be covering old ground with family or with finances or with both. Um, and think back to Jan, Feb, March, what was happening there, what were the energies there. You might see a repeat of that, and that's in connection with your family. Uh, arguments, old arguments, patterns, dynamics. And Jupiter is helping restructure this, okay? So this is a time of restructuring. You might have to go through some uncomfortable things, but things are being restructured. It's a time to tap into your inner wisdom uh, of how to deal with family and anything money related as well. So ask for Jupiter's help. You can always ask the planets for help. They are there to help you. Next door, we've got Saturn Ketu conjunction happening in Sagittarius. Um, and this, you know, I'm just doing a check-in here because I did a video about that earlier. You know, this is a time to look out for new illumination in your own sense of courage. Okay? So the other thing I've been telling all signs is that if you feel like you're stuck in the past, if you feel like things are stagnant, you're not going anywhere, you've got it's heavy past, heavy energies, go and build the future. Go into the future. Build something new that excites you. Put some energy towards your dreams, you know, and it might mean you have to get away from family or workers or people in your life. Carve out some time for yourself alone and visualize and dream and, and plot that future. Put some energy there. It's really needed at this time because there are heavy past energies right now. We do need to be thinking about future and creating the future. Those of us who are engaged in future activities right now, we're the ones who are going to get through this time quite nicely. So Libra Moon, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?